gate 2016 civil engineering set to question 45 a square plate is suspended vertically from one of its edges using a hinge support as shown in the figure a water jet of 20 mm diameter having a velocity of 10 meter per second strikes the plate at its midpoint at an angle of 30 degree with the vertical consider g as 9.81 meter per second square and neglect the self weight of the plate the force F expressed in newtons required to keep the plate in its vertical position is. The relevant ampital reference has been mentioned. If we want to calculate the force due to a fluid flow, so let us assume a fluid flow of area A whose initial velocity is V and it is colliding with a fixed surface. So by symmetry it will split into two equal parts on both the sides the speeds of which will be the same v but the area would become half that is a by 2 and a by 2 so here the force due to the fluid flow on the fixed surface let us call it a wall will be equal to the density of the fluid into the flow rate into the relative velocity of the fluid in the x direction since the force will be exerted here in the horizontal direction. So density is rho, Q can be written as A into V of the fluid and relative velocity if we see it will be equal to V minus 0. This is because the wall is not moving anywhere, its speed is 0. And the fluid is coming in with a speed of V and finally it has all the velocity in the vertical direction and none in the horizontal direction. So its final velocity is 0 and the initial velocity of the fluid is V. So this would become rho A V square that is the force due to the fluid flow on the fixed surface. So here we can see that the plate is being exerted to a force by the fluid and there is another force acting on the plate which is F and the objective is to keep this plate in the fixed position that is stationary. So here the plate is not moving. So let us call the plate speed as up which is 0. The speed of the fluid is 10 meters per second. Since it is water the density would be 1000 kg per meter cube. The angle that is theta has been given as 30 degrees in the figure and the fluid is hitting the plate at the midpoint that would be 100 mm from the hinge. So the force due to the fluid flow would be rho a v square since it is a similar case to what we saw before and the plate has been fixed. Density is 1000. Diameter of the fluid flow is 20 millimeters. So substituting the value area would be pi by 4 into diameter that is 0 0.02 in meters square into the velocity square that is 10 square. This would turn out to be 31.428 newtons. This force will be exerted on the plate in this direction. We need to resolve it in the horizontal direction. This is because this is the only direction that will cause a moment about the hinge. So this moment will be in the anti-clockwise direction and the external force F will cause a moment in the clockwise direction. So these two moments would cancel out each other. So here we can see that theta is 30 degrees. So this angle would be theta and this angle would be 90 minus theta. So this is the force due to fluid that is FF. So FF into cos of 90 minus theta into the moment due to the fluid. So the fluid is exerting on the midpoint. So the gap between the fluid force and the hinge is 100 millimeters. This should be equal to the moment due to the external force that will be F into 200. This would result in F equals 31.428 into cos of 60 degrees that will be 1 by 2 into 100 by 200 that is 1 by 2. This would turn out to be 7.85 Newton that is the external force required to keep the plate stationary against the fluid force acting on its midpoint. So the force required to keep the plate in its vertical position is 7.85 Newtons. The relevant NPTEL reference has been mentioned.